Second Peter is talking about it's talking about these false pro teachers, right? Look at this. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin. All, anybody who tells you you can't stop sinning is a false teacher. I'll just let you know that. It says, and you that cannot cease from sin. This is one of the cat this is one of the 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 tells. And this is talking about willful sin, by the way. Right? These people will tell you you can never stop willfully sinning. That everyone is going to sin intentionally for the rest of their life. Right? Eyes full of adultery. That is willful sin. Lusting. It is willful sin. And cannot cease from sin. Beguiling unstable souls and heart they have exercised with covetous practices. Right? So don't be beguiled. Don't be fooled. Because you have not studied the Bible much yet. Right? The, if you can't read the Old Testament and fall for a sniffing out Pharisees video. That's where I went wrong. I had not studied enough yet. I don't even think sniffing out Pharisees has read the Old Testament. You know what I mean? He's, 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 he's watched a, 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 a 50,000 hours of Jack Smack and then just is parroting him. That's all that is. Okay. So don't be fooled by someone who doesn't even know the Bible himself. All right. You need to read the Bible. Read the Old Testament. Read all the New Testament before you, 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 you make up your mind. There's a reason these people don't show their faces. It's a reason you don't know who these men are. Right? They're hiding. And they're preaching sin and wickedness and lawlessness. Okay? Now, check this out. Having eyes of an adultery and cannot cease from sin. This is a symptom this is a symptom of a false teacher. They tell you you can't cease from sin. And they can't cease from it either. They'll tell you themselves. They sin all the time every day. But you know what's funny? These people who say this, right? If you ask them, what did you, how did you sin today? They get embarrassed and they don't want to tell you. All right? These very same people are like, oh, I, everybody sins every day. If you ask them, oh, okay, what sins did you do today? They'll be like, well, um, 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 mm. Why? Because they don't actually believe it in the sense of, oh, this is right. And this is what it's supposed to be as a Christian, right? It's just a cope that they've learned to say to justify living a life of sin, life in sin. They so quick to accuse you of being prideful and a liar. If you say that through the Holy Spirit, you have ceased from willful sin, but then you turn it on them and ask them, oh, what was the sins you did today? All of a sudden they get quiet. Why? Because they're ashamed as they should be. And so having eyes full of adultery and cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls. Right. So listen, man, you can believe Jesus, you can believe the Bible, or you can believe YouTubers who don't even show their face and just cherry pick verses. Have you read these books, these books that they're quoting? Have you read all of Romans? Have you read all of Galatians? Have you read all of um, for, for first Corinthians? Have you read all of these? So to get the context of what Paul is talking about, don't make the same mistake I did. I'm trying to make sure you don't. Don't make the same mistake I did, please. Have you read all of Ephesians? Right? Have you even read the first five books of the Bible? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Have you read these? Do you know? Have you even read the book? Do not, do not, <laughs> listen, do not fall for this. It's going to send you to hell. It's going to send you to hell. This is my life mission now, in part, to dismantle. I, I'm working on stuff in the background. Don't think just because I ain't respond to all of these dudes who have made a thousand videos on me talking about expose this, heretic this, false prophet this. I'm just leaving vengeance to God. 
but I'm working on content that is going to break this stuff down piece by piece. You know, I come to the streams, y'all ask me questions on the fly. I do the best I can thinking off the top. But when I get a chance to sit down from my computer and write scripts, I'm telling you, this stuff is is bulletproof. At least from, you know, I don't know everything, but I'm telling you free grace is false, bro. It's as false as it gets. Eternal security is false. And if you look into it properly, it, it, evidence is all over the place, right? I mean, God is the same yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Look what he says here. Look what he says here, right? 